guys, welcome back to my channel. So Alan and I are in Antwerp. We arrived this morning, it's our first time visiting the city. We've been here for like an hour and it's just beautiful, we love it. And we're staying in the most amazing apartment as well. You guys need to check out our Airbnb apartment because we hit gold with this one. Yeah. It is so good. I'm here guys. <laughs> Um, it is so good, this apartment. I'm gonna put a link for it down below, but Alan talked and showed you guys his, the apartment in his vlog. Yeah, let, let's, let me get into train because I feel like You're too far away. I'm too far away. Yeah? Yeah. So Alan vlogged the apartment, so I'm gonna link his YouTube channel below and you guys can go and check out the apartment. Check out the apartment, yeah. I did a little little mini tour around it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So it's raining, obviously. Yeah. It rains everywhere. It's cool. The rain's cool, anyway. Yeah? That's I good. Like it gives like an attitude. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I really like it. And the city looks amazing. We've only seen a bit so far, but we really like what we've seen. Yes. Currently, we're in a place called the Texas Coffee having brunch. About to have pancakes. Eva got to see everyone. I got the sweet. I'm going to share. Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. We have half each. This is amazing. I got the Texas American, blueberry pancakes, eggs, bacon, toast, jam. Ooh. These are Alan's. Blueberry pancakes. I think he's got a bit of food envy because I got blueberry pancakes and eggs. But looks pretty good. There's this really cool um, coffee shop near where we had brunch, coffee and vinyl. When we walked past that earlier, there were these two guys just sitting having coffee, literally just picking up loads of vinyls and talking about them. I think that's really cool. I want to go in there sometime, Alan. noticing as we're like walking through these streets in the kind of area we're in that design is really big here there's a lot of really cool furniture stores even like a lighting shop we just walked past was very cool and then clothing stores as well which are definitely probably like a one-off shop like a boutique so yeah really cool area really loving Antwerp so far we've come into this store called Labels Inc me and Alan can't distinguish whether this is like a second-hand shop or what but it is full of designers like look this shirt is Comme de Garçon. There's so many different things here. This is this isn't another Comme de Garçon boy shirt. It's quite cool. I found a Burberry skirt. It's probably like a midi skirt for 90 euros, which is amazing. This isn't gonna fit me. Thanks Ellen. This isn't gonna fit me, but if it did, I would get it altered into being a mini skirt and then wear it with a black polo neck. It would be so in your face Burberry, but in a fabulous way. This is a very cool find as well. A pantsuit by Yusama. See how much it is. So it's 350 for the whole suit. Amazing. It's like I'm blinking loads because raindrops keep falling on my eyes. So we're done in Labels Inc. Neither Alan or I bought anything. We're both being sensible with our money, right? Yeah, we're being quite sensible this trip. Yeah, unless something absolutely takes our breath away, we're not buying it. Yeah. Deal. Deal. Um, but there were a really good selection of things in Alan saw some trousers he liked from Bruce yeah. Van Noten. I saw a Burberry skirt, which I thought was really cool, but yeah, yeah unless it's like perfect, yeah. don't go there. But the prices, I think, for like designer items, and some of them were really cool vintage. Like, I'm pretty sure that Sandra Ross suit must have been from like, no, five. Um, no, I don't think so. I think maybe even like 2005 okay. or something. So like 10 years top, yes. Yeah, so I think that's pretty cool and the prices yeah. are really decent for like vintage designer clothing. So if you missed our Paris vlog and then the vlog before that where we were in Shoreditch, Alan and I are trying to get more into thrift shopping. I've been watching a lot of Kaylee McKenzie's videos and Alan likes her boyfriend's videos as well and they both thrift shop, thrift shop and it's definitely made us think more about like how we shop and where we're shopping from, wanting to find some more new, unique pieces and things like that. So we have been trying to look at thrift stores but we haven't found anything we liked. However, that like secondhand vintage designer store is way more up our street. So I think if you're also thinking to get into thrifting but you're struggling like how we did at the beginning, you just have to find what kind of thrifting um, that's even something to put in quotation marks, I don't know. Um, what, what kind of thrift works for you? Like I think for me and Alan, it's the vintage design and stuff that gets us really excited. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is going to more thrift shops and also trying out some like designer thrift stop shops to see if we do come across any outstanding pieces that are worth investing in. Next up, like vintage designer store we're going to is Rossier 41. I really like labels, so hopefully this one's just as good. Just 
come across this Bottega Veneta suit. And very, very chic with the matching skirt. I feel like the sleeves need to be either way shorter or way longer. These don't look good on my feet, guys, because they're too big. Sadly, look how chic these are. A little Mary Jane kind of bardo coloured pump. I've never heard of the brand before, Sophie Dor. It's a shame they're too big. They're too big, Alan. Yeah, but they're so nice. I'm in love with this shop. I definitely think I found my area of comfort in secondhand clothing shopping. There's such gems in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, beautiful clothes, beautiful. I get so high when I look at designer clothes. It's the way they're made and the cut and oh, it literally gives me like a rush, like I'm high. I think Alan's the same. He's trying on some trousers at the moment. I bet he's high too. Again, it's a very bold item, Moschino skirt. But if you want things that are unique, these stuff stuff is really cool. <gasps> oh my god, I love them. They're really flared. Yeah, they're so cool though, Alan. Oh my god, these are so perfect for the next season. Yeah. It's all 70s cords. The colour is so bold. Just to let you guys know, unless you have a Belgium credit card or debit card, you can only pay by cash in that shop. So we're running to a cash machine because Alan's going to get those trousers, which I am so happy about. Are you excited for the melon? Yeah. They're such a good find. Oh, I love Antwerp. So, look at that happy face. Look at that smile. I know, you got your trousers. I got my trousers. Sophie Dour, which is a local designer, Belgium. Um, amazing price. I'm happy. Yeah. I was looking for cords. Literally, the other day, I was saying to yeah. people, what do you think of cords? And then, in Paris, I saw a pair of trousers, cords, I absolutely loved on a, on a model. Yeah. And they were Sophie Dour, same brand. I, know, I feel like it was meant to be. Maybe. Because it's so weird that just two days ago we were looking and it was like brand new. That was expensive as well, what you were, we were looking at. 350 euros. I paid 50 euros for these. And in a way more unique colour. Yep. Love them. The only thing that they have is an exaggerated flare. Yeah. Which... Hold on, Alan, you might not be able to hear you. So they're really exaggerated like flares. Yeah. Um, which I think I think I can get on with. I might alter them slightly just to kind of reduce that flare, but I'll see. Yeah. I'll try it on with like different like shoes see how you go, and outfit. I know this whole vlog is just gonna be me saying how much I like it here. But if you've been even if you haven't been thinking of coming to Antwerp, book yourself a ticket. Especially if you're from England. Like it took us two and a half hours on the Eurostar to get here. We got a train to Belgium and then from Belgium we got a train to no, we got a train to Brussels, that makes more sense. Wait, wait, wait. let's see which way we're going. Yeah. We got a train to Brussels and then from Brussels we got a train to, to Antwerp. Antwerp. The thing is you can even use your Eurostar ticket. So when you're booking, if you're going to book from London to Belgium, you can do a um, all stations. So it'll take you to where if you want to go to Antwerp, yeah. including the price, which is really great. Really, really good. And it's so close, guys, to us in England. Yeah. And, and if you're traveling to England, then book yourself a ticket to go to Paris for a couple days and book yourself a ticket from Paris to Antwerp because it's really worth coming to, especially if you like shopping because love it. Also, if you're really into photography, the streets are beautiful. It's got that kind of mix between like Copenhagen, Amsterdam, like there's definitely something like that about it. So beautiful. Guys, we're really worried about our cameras, so I'm smuggling them. So you got Inspector Gadget. It's so yeah, scary, you're thinking. Inspector Gadget. I am. You've got all the gadgets under your jacket. I need um, windscreen wipers on my glasses. Yeah. It's really pouring now. It is, but we're not putting the umbrella up yet because the shops are on the corner. No, let's go. Yeah. So we're in a shop called St. Vincent. It's very cool in here. Different brands. I don't know if they're local brands or what, but it's kind of like a concept store because they've got lots of different areas and then there's seating areas upstairs and there's also like a coffee shop around here. It's raining really heavily, guys, and it's about 6 p.m. now. We're not ready for dinner, so I think what we might do is look around the shop a bit and then just head in there and have a juice or coffee or something. We've come into a like beer place called Pater's Vita. I think that's what Alan said it's called. It's really small in here, guys. Very cozy, very cool. Alan's got this beer, which is like in a cone shape. I don't like alcohol, so I got a Coke. Pretty boring, I know, but I can vicariously live through Alan's crazy beer bottle. It's just so bizarre looking. 
So we're heading into Fritz Atelier. These are apparently Michelin star, like Amsterdam style chips. We're really excited to try these. I've heard about these a lot. We're actually going to Amsterdam in a couple of days, but I think they have them quite far out of Amsterdam, whereas it's right here in Antwerp. So we're definitely gonna go in, try these chips. They're meant to be really good. Cool. Oh my God, I think I put too much lip liner on. Okay guys, we're on today two of Antwerp. Alan and I have basically swapped outfits because he is wearing a black Comme de Garce on top. Yesterday I wore a green one. And today I've stolen his acne knitwear because it's gonna be between 15 and 17 degrees today. And yeah, I don't wanna get cold. Hopefully I'm not gonna to be too hot in this because it's a very thick jumper. But I also think I shouldn't be. I think I'll be okay. We'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. I'll just show you my outfit quickly because yesterday I think I forgot to show you my outfit. Um, so as I said, I've got Alan's knitwear on. Underneath, I'm literally just wearing um, this t-shirt which is tucked into my jeans and this is from And Other Stories. And then I've just folded the underneath of the jumper up because it's quite long. I've got my camera. This is looking a little bit blurred, guys, but I think it's just because the mirror is a bit dirty. Ah, there we go. Now we're in focus. Okay, now I can show you my t-shirt properly. There we go. It's just got like a claw on it. Then I've got my Fujifilm X100F on a Louis Vuitton Alma strap, just so that it sits really comfortably crossbody. And then I've got my Topshop straight leg jeans and my Common Projects. Do you want to come and get in here, Alan? Sure. So we'll start from the top. Cool. I've got my Noah cap in like a burgundy. Mm -hmm. And then the jacket is Droll de Monsieur, not from Paris. Mm -hmm. And then I've got my Comme de Garçon top, which yep. is slight, slightly tucked it in. Mm -hmm. My Marni, um, they're kind of like, sort of very... Um, it's kind of like bowed legged. They're quite sort of a roomy fit. Yeah, Marnie they're really trousers. wide. I love wide. these trousers. I wouldn't say they're so wide. They kind of they do taper if you look. Yeah. But they're quite. It's quite like that. It's very really, loose. Like kind of like that Japanese. Yeah. Look. And then I pair them up with my Converse. Nice. And I'm trying to get them beat up. I'm trying to get them beat up on this trip, and it's. We're getting there. Yeah, they're looking really dirty actually. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, look how dirty my yeah. projects are getting. I must remember a list of things I must not eat whilst wearing Alan's jumper. First is any kind of drippy thing like ice cream. Second, no spaghetti bolognese. Third, that might be it actually. Anything else, Alan? Soup. Soup, ramen. no soup, no ramen. Oh, I'm the worst with ramen. Splatters everywhere. I've mentioned this so many times, so you guys know this already, but I love old things. They just fascinate me. And I think that's one of the reasons that me and Alan have both fallen in love with our apartment. It's like a 1920s art deco apartment. Okay, we're going this way. And everything in it creaks. The lift creaks, the doors creak, the floors creak. So cool. It's creepy. But I love it. We got lift here. There's a lot of roadworks around here. Yeah. Alan? Yeah. Tell me one of your favourite things that you've discovered about Antwerp so far. Um the shops. Yes. The second hand shops. Definitely. Yeah. I feel like this is like a secret like fashion place. It's like a, it's like a like, hidden gem. Yeah, it's a hidden gem for people who love fashion. I can't stop thinking about that shop yesterday. Yep. I keep forgetting the name. Rossier 41. Rossier 41. Can we go back before we leave? Yeah. I love it. Going from Paris to London to here, what a difference. Honestly, in Paris you're pushing past people, not pushing, but you have to smooth your way through crowds. It's packed everywhere. And then you go to London. Same thing, crowded, packed everywhere. Even if you're in like an area where people live, it gets so busy on high streets. It's just constantly busy unless you're out really late or really early. Here, it's empty. I have no idea where everyone is. <laughs> Alan and I were saying, does anyone even live here? Like the area we were at at the bar last night was a Friday night in the center of where like bars are. And it had the same amount of people that you would find in like Leicester Square at 5 a.m. It was no, so quiet. Less people. Less people. people than at, on, in Leicester at 5 a.m. Yeah. 
so we don't really so, know where everyone is is it if you're from antwerp let us know is it always this quiet is it because it's been it's raining awesome. like why is it so quiet I think it's i'm safe, not complaining yeah. i absolutely love it but i'm just really intrigued is it like this all the time should i be moving here because it's got everything you want from a city and it's peaceful amazing so i don't want to lose faith in this guy but he's taking me for brunch and apparently we're here okay no no it's, it's like we're like a couple minutes away okay so we're not like it's not right here okay I, I took the wrong turn okay so any of you guys you're probably thinking you're probably watching Eva and then I'm always down looking at my phone the reason it's not because I'm just like <laughs> looking through my phone it's because I'm trying to get to places directions so oh he's getting places guys I'm, he's I'm getting navigator. places yeah he is so he uses what is it city mapper city, um, here we go which no, is here now here no it's here we go oh here, here we go which is a map app by Nokia which works really well cool so city map doesn't use. work everywhere because it doesn't support all cities in the world oh but here we go you can download the specific area you're going to travel to and then save places uh, which is really handy yeah so you'd recommend that one yeah it's really good cool so yeah Alan's finding our way to brunch we do often take a few wrong turns but yeah. it's all part of the adventure we do also Ooh. It's pretty, isn't it? Pretty. Okay, we're about to pop into the shop, Pardaf, giving fashion a second chance. So we've just finished in Pardaf. Definitely recommend coming to check this one out. It's huge. There's like three stories. The men's section is quite small, but really good. Alan found a Hugo Boss jacket he liked. He's not going to get it, but it did look really good. Um, women's wise, there were some good things, but I think you would need like a good time to kind of thrift through it. But again, just really nicely organized and everything's laid out so cleanly and so well. Wow, this building is so beautiful. So much detail on it. Same on the other side of the street. So many people sculpted into it. That's just really stunning. For, it, just, for just a standard building on a street, oh, it's really nice. So we're just about to head into this store which is called Think Twice. It's a vintage second-hand store and Charlotte recommended this to us. So thank you Charlotte for your recommendation. Uh, apparently things in here can be like two euros and so that's why it's called Think Twice. I think that's why it's called Think Twice anyway. Um, but yeah, Charlotte said that things in here, they can, you can find some real gems in there and that it can be like as cheap as two euros. So I'm going to head in and see how it is. Look how many cool jackets they have here. These are so on trend for the next season. So if you're wanting to find one, you can definitely look thrifted. I cracked and bought one from Anthropology just because I fell in love with the color combo and the fit. But look, this is kind of similar. It's gray with like a kind of lining to it. They have really unique flavors in here. They've got like matcha, tea. They've got some spicy wasabi ones as well. So I think this chocolate place, the chocolate line, they all get all fair trade cocoa and they sell fair trade um, chocolate bars and things like that. So that's really good. So Eva's going to try Miss Piggy. That's what it's called. <laughs> so this is how it looks. Bacon. It's bacon and quinoa. Quinoa, yeah. Should we try? Yeah. Oh my god, you can really get that smoked bacon. No way. Is it nice? It's so weird. It doesn't agree with it. No, it's... I hope you're going to be okay. It's so crunchy. Isn't it weird? So I'm really impressed with the chocolate line. I've tried a couple. They're really good. Like the chocolate is just beautiful. Melts in the mouth. Highly recommend. So guys, we've come into Mercado, which was highly recommended to us by a lot of you. Um, and we've come for dim sum. Hey guys, so today is museum day. We're heading to the Red Line Star. Is it just Red Line or Red Line Star? I think it's Red Line Star. Red Line Star Museum. It's like the, apparently it's quite a new museum, just a couple years old, and it will teach us all about um, the history of Antwerp, like pre and post war. So that's gonna be really interesting. We love learning about cities that we're in. So it's gonna be a really good way to kind of find out some more information. Um, and then we might head to the Mass Museum after that. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for now, we're heading to brunch because we are hungry. Maybe you forgot to breathe. Yeah, I think I did. You're talking. I did forget to breathe. 
So this might be the most random brunch. It's definitely more lunch. We've come to Balls and Glory, which was a recommendation. Really excited about this. I went for the classic pork meatball with the classic mashed potato. And I went for the chicken meatball. Chicken with like uh, mushroom. With mushroom truffles, yeah. yeah, and then mashed potato. And I haven't tried it yet, but Alan doesn't normally like mashed potato, and he just tried it, and it was a big mmm from coming out of his mouth. So let's see how we like it. Guys, this is so delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to show you because I've eaten half of it and it's a mess on my plate, but this is amazing. Thank you so much, Margot, for this recommendation. Amazing, a must visit if you like this kind of food, but it's so warming and hearty, really good. We're currently in the Red Star Line Museum. Something we didn't actually realize is that the museum is made up of the old Red Star Line warehouse where people would come in the hopes of being migrated to America. So the ships here would take people to America and it was in this building where they've put the museum with the history of Antwerp, where people would line up and be checked over in the hopes of being sent to America. This is cool to see. These are the advert posters for the Red Star Line to take them to New York. Okay guys, so we finished in the Red Star Line Museum. I highly recommend going to that. It's not so much about the history before and after the war, but it's just in general about migration and immigration um, in Antwerp, in Belgium, in Europe, and how people would use Antwerp as like a port to go to America. It was so interesting and it really showed migration and immigration in a very positive way, which I really respected. So I'd really recommend going to that museum. Very, very good. Then you've got the Mass Museum behind me. We're not gonna have time to go in today because they close in an hour. Uh, but next time we come to Antwerp, we can pop in. Are you recording? Yeah. So guys, I'm gonna call it an end on our trip to Antwerp. At the moment, Anna and I are sitting in a kind of like a pub where they specialise in beer. And we're just watching people come in, watching people off the street. And it's just so cool that we're just sitting in this pub, this local pub in Antwerp. And this is what travelling is all about, experiencing everyday things in other countries. And it's so relaxing in here. Alan and I are just talking about our trip and watching people come in and out and it's so fun. Really relaxing. Yeah. What are your views, Alan? I completely agree. Yeah. It's it's just like not having to rush from one place to another, like rush into tourist sites. It's about just integrating yourself within the culture, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And we did this trip's been really special because we've not been rushing anywhere. We've really relaxed and taken our time and had like a holiday, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Really enjoyed the time we've had here. Yeah, yeah. I would highly recommend coming to Antwerp. Antwerp is definitely a must if you're into fashion. If you're into Anything really. Travel. Travel. It's a great city. If you're into beer, like Belgium's got probably one of the best beer in the world. Or chocolate. Chocolate as well. Yeah. You can't go wrong with Antwerp. No, you can't. So what I'm going to do guys, in the description box below, I'm going to put a link for our Airbnb because it's just been incredible. Also if you sign up with the link I'll have down there, then you get 30 euros off your first booking. I think we get 5 euros because it's like a... 15. Oh, 15 euros? So yeah. Pounds. 15 pounds? Yeah. It's a um, referral, referral link. link yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'll also put Airbnb and I'll also put a list of all the restaurants and places and shops we visited as well. Just so you have a really easy reference down there. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed following us to Antwerp. We're going to sit here now and enjoy the rest of our evening. And I'll see you in Amsterdam. Because we're off to Amsterdam yeah. tomorrow. See you in Amsterdam. Bye guys. Bye.